All right, so today Shadow is going to review the Heart to Tail Grillers. It's for all dog sizes, no artificial flavors, and it's made with real duck, 100% US raised. Um, what else? Made in the United States. He is, Shadow is about a little bit less than 25 pounds, so he will get two treats. But you can see that um, depending on the size, they can get more. Um, so this is gonna last him longer than the extra small dog. Um, and there's the analysis and the ingredients, which I like Aldi because even though there are some um, colors in here, most of, there's very few ingredients, unlike some of the other brands you might see. So um, yeah, store in a cool, dry place. So we're gonna try this. What do you think, it smell good? He's into it. Okay. So it might be a little too hard for him. Okay, so I'm gonna break a piece. Well, he likes it. Mm, looking for more way. <laughs> Going for the big piece. He's got these two small ones. Um, so overall, he's tearing it up. All right, Aldi. Um, I paid, before tax, it was $1.55 for this pack. And it's only with one hand here. I want to say... See, he had one, so there's two, three, four, five, six, probably about maybe 10 treats that it comes with. But again, based on the size of your dog, you know, technically he would have two, but we're reviewing more than one treat today, so I'm not going to give him two. So if you have a large dog, this thing is not going to last you, but <laughs> a couple days, depending on how often you treat your dog. But yeah, shout out. You give us a pause up. Pause up. High five. Let's see. He's still finding things to eat. Pa. All right, he likes this one. Good boy. All right, the next one. So these are one paw up. <laughs> Mostly because I can't do two paws right now because I'm holding my camera, but um, the next product he really loves peanut butter he's going crazy is the heart to tail chew bones made with natural peanut butter flavor they're long lasting and they're easily digestible they're also made in the usa so that's fancy what does this say um american choice best brand award i haven't heard of that and um no certified synthetic colors is what the other side says um, so it comes with two of them, two really big bones. It's probably gonna take Shadow a while to eat. Um, and it just looks like they're just peanut butter in it. Um, it says, your pets are more than just companions. They're part of your family. We know selecting the right dog food for them is an important decision. Heart to tail, look at him being so patient. I'm sorry, Book. Um, heart to tail is dedicated to supporting your pet's well-being so they can lead healthy, strong, happy lives and they say big all caps no artificial colors and any of those chemicals and you know i love aldi so let's look at the recommendation for his size i love that they do that so clearly because that's very important to me having a small dog all right okay okay um he would fit in this the medium category check you out barely making it Cute self. Um, so he could have two to three treats a week, two to three of these a week. Um, 
and it says not suitable for puppies or toy breeds. <gasps> Does that mean you can't have it? Hmm. Pete has a treat to your dog store in a cool, dry place. Shut up, it might be too hard for you. Well, that stinks. I really wish they would make some for, for your category. But yeah, anyway, we really like these and we would get them again. This one doesn't say not so suitable for toy breeds, so I don't know. But anyway, we like the Aldi brands. We also like their wet food. I might have him try it one day. I'm gonna give him his second treat. All right, well, that's our review and I'm sure he would love these. He's had them before, so I might, I don't know, I might find a way to cut it up for him. I think it's just because it's big. Um, but yeah, he would definitely love it because he loves the smell. So, thanks for watching. Say bye, everybody. Say bye. Say bye to Kivui. Mm, you all the way on your back today. Like, comment, and subscribe. The last thing I have to say is I'd have to say I'm disappointed that it, they, it's not suitable for toy breeds, but I'm glad I read it. So, as always, always read the ingredients on your dog food. See you next time. Is it so good? Mmm. Yum, yum.